I'm acquired. Looking for Vitra. Vitra! Heck <laughs> you! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, that was filth. That was absolute filth. Oh, don't shake that man's hand. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We're going global. Today, we're starting our Volta World Domination. We begin in Berlin with a little five-on-five -five action. I have never played Volta World, this, this particular mode. I've never played it. I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm not sure. I think this is the online, but I'm not even positive about that. So first off, of course, we got to set the lineup, and today we'll see the debut of this man who has not played yet but if you just look at his rating man Deepak Sunder you just look at his rating man this guy this guy is something else and so of course also we need to have we need to have Vitrup in obviously um, so we'll go with the diamond for now and uh, and we'll see if it works so this is also the first time we played 5-on-5 five five with X-Force. So there's just, you know what, there's just a lot, there's a lot of new stuff happening right now. Okay, so this is not, this is not online. This is just a straight up tournament. Four rounds. Alright. Let's get into it. At least we're playing on a real surface. He'd be killing himself if we were playing on the concrete. This guy's name is Pickles that we're playing. Oh yeah, there we go. One on one with Sid. That's a goal, Ajax. So this is also the first game where we're not playing uh, first two or anything. Just, I think it's timed, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's timed. Traditional futsal, which is cool. I kind of like this particular dynamic. Um, it feels more like FIFA Street. There's a lot of different. There's a lot of different kind of game. You know, game varieties, game modes, if you will. Ah, oh, I thought he had that. Um, and so you just, yeah, like you get some variety, you build up your squad, you have certain squads for certain kind of game modes and things like that. Ajax looking for Sunder! Oh my goodness. D, alright. That's the new game he wants to go by, that's what we're using. D. Ajax with that high press. Yeah, there you go, Vitrip. Vitrip again, we see him! Oh, what a save. Beautiful save there from Sid. Just a lot of, you know, a lot of quick passing. Like, even on a more open field, I'm still reverting to the passing as opposed to kind of the skill moves. Beautiful save, Sid! Oh! Got her with the, with the rebound. It's a great save, though. Um, so, in the early days of this, when I was first playing Volta, you know, back in kind of back in the beta, the demo, and you know whatever, the goalies were unbelievably overpowered because they hadn't quite tuned the shot speed, they hadn't quite tuned the reactions of the goalkeepers. So, oh, here we go, Vitra! Ah, so, and because the goals are pretty small. The shots were not coming in very fast, and the goalkeepers had crazy reactions, so really the only way you could score is if you had, like, a rebound goal, pretty much, where the goalie was, was out of position. And apparently they've made patches to fix that particular issue, because that was a big issue, that was probably the biggest issue to me, in terms of when you're playing a mode with goalkeepers, Ajax finishes it off! Ooh, give us a little dance there, Ajax. Yeah, that was the biggest thing for me. Um, but it seems like they they may have actually tweaked that issue, which is good because I don't want to feel like you have to shoot from you know two feet out to score. You know, I want to feel like a good shot is a good shot. So it's realistic that goalkeepers can make more saves in indoor, but I want I want to feel like we're encouraged to take more shots like you would do in a real indoor game rather than just try to like get the ball as close as you can to the goal. So that particular time it worked with McGuire in the, in the sweet assist. Um, 
So it worked there, but like I, I want to feel encouraged to take a lot of shots, try to beat the goalkeeper that way. Oh, that was risky to play that. Yep, yep. I should have put that in the air. That one's on me. That one is going to be on me. Kareem Sang. Good ball! Aww. Oh. That's honestly, that particular move is a bit exploity in rush because there's no goalkeeper. So the defender doesn't will never have good enough position to guard your header there because they'll step up to cover the attacker that's making the header. Oh, D. Uh, but with a goalkeeper, it's less it's less exploity because there's a goalkeeper there. Looking at D. Ah. And that's a lot of my lob through. That's a good touch. Good save. A lot of my lob through balls are designed for headers. So I'm going to have to kind of rethink. And there we go. What a touch. Maguire. Oh, my goodness. He shot it straight at her. Futsal plays different than rush or than, uh, than walls. Um, uh, the game with goalkeepers plays different than rush. So both of those things are good. They don't feel the same. So I was a little worried about that when I heard that they were having all of these different modes and all of these different types of types of games. There you go, Sid. I was worried that they were all going to kind of feel the same, just that, you know, one of them has goalkeepers and one of them has walls and something like that. I don't know how they're winning these headers. That's got to be foul. Thank you. Oh, free kick. Okay. I haven't, I actually have not done many of these, to be honest with you. So let's see. Um, let's put, we'll get some knuckle on it. Oh, oh, now I see. Oh, I see what they're going for. All right. So you add, you hold down the stick, you get some power, and then you have to time it up with the button. Ah! So that's a new, that's a new approach. I don't, I haven't quite done it enough. So we'll see. We'll see if I end up really mining it. So what I would really like is a futsal career mode, like some kind of, some kind of career mode with this. And I say that knowing how broken the actual FIFA career mode is right now, but that's what I really want because futsal is su come on ref, futsal is such a huge deal um, when it comes to you know just football in general and specifically in certain cultures. And I've mentioned this before how good of a job I think EA did with that. So I really think if you had a, a career mode, but just with futsal teams, with indoor teams, as opposed to traditional 11 aside, you can mix in that same culture, um, but in a different setting. And because EA did such a good job nailing the culture of street football, that's really what I want to see. Great ball, great ball, Ajax, that was a good save, but Ajax puts it in anyway. So I'm not going to get the through ball assist, but that's okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's what I would really like. Because the thing is, is I like this. You know, I like this thing that we're doing. And I really like, um, I really like the idea of managing a team and having different lineups depending on where you're playing and all of those things. I really, really love that idea. Um, I want it to be more fleshed out. I don't want to just, you know, I don't want it to be just like this. Oh, McGuire. I don't want it to be just like this, you know? Um, where it's it's like essentially one player and he happens to be part of a team that you're managing I, I want it to be more fleshed out, you know, like just like career mode. I mean, that's exactly that's exactly what I want I want this in career mode. All right. looks like we're going to extra time for the second straight time oh, What a grueling tournament here from X-Force Absolutely grueling So I think if I win this, if I win this, I would like to... Ah, why did you have to take the flare? Just take it. If I win this, I would like to finish off this tournament for the episode. If I lose this... Oh, Sid trying to make that save from the ground as well. If I lose this, then we'll probably just go back to story and then we'll hit up uh, Volta World next week. Oh my goodness, D! Oh, it's all about deep pack Sunder. Great back heel pass, and then D with the cheeky left foot. It looked like he was going to take right to the far post. Cheeky left foot to the near post. X-Force moves on into the semis. I gotta say, man, the more I play this, the more I just want a career mode. 
<laughs> that's that's really what I want. I just I want this in career mode. I mean, think about it. Like, you have you have a team that you're managing, and you go around. You have your lineup. Like, let's say it's a team of like ten players total, and you go around and you play tournaments, and you kind of like you get points into kind of a league-wide point system from these tournaments, and the tournaments are all different rules, all different game modes, um, and you set your lineup, you know, based on that. Like, man, the more I talk about it, the more excited I get for it, and the more aware I am that it's never gonna happen <laughs> at any time. Two POWs? How does that happen? We could make a whole video just about the development cycle for sports games. Yep, I'll take that. Third time's a charm. Boom. I, it really is. It really is its own video when it comes to that. The development cycle, the reason why we don't really get innovation and why things like Ultimate Team... Well, I didn't pass that. Things like Ultimate Team are actually de disincentivizing innovation in a lot of ways. Pitcher. All right, pressure, pressure. Yes, D. Oh, no. Beautiful block, McGuire. Is that all that's needed? Oh, Vitrup just gets obliterated! McGuire! McGuire! That's gotta be... They actually... They get an untimed down? Alright. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> McGuire, player of the match. I mean, just for the defensive effort at the end, I would agree. We go up against Bob. Baub. Um, you know what? We're gonna keep the formation the same. No, actually... Good coaches change formations. There's always there's always movement. So yeah, the Y. The chemistry goes down actually, because that's it's nobody's preferred formation, I guess. But hey, I like those boosts though. Those are cool with me. I still am not really clear on what chemistry does. Like early on we had team chemistry of a hundred and it looked like the boosts were the same, so I'm not I'm not completely clear. If somebody knows, please tell me. Because I'm not completely clear on what it does what it's for but we're done hey sweet as a nut we're done we're done and so i never have to say that again <laughs> on on a video i never have to say that it's all about the finals baby x-force in the finals of its first volta world tournament even though we've actually won two tournaments before this this would be painful if we got all the way to the finals and and lost so why did I say that? Because because I'm a stupid, stupid person. Beautiful age! That had to be. Thank you. Yeah, I see you, McGuire. Oh, what a save, Sid! Unbelievable. Loudra. Why did I say Loudra? That's <laughs> Vitra. <laughs> I don't even... I don't know why I thought of Loudra right there. That's such a random name to think of as well. Oh, three on one. Except McGuire peels off. Beautiful D! Oh! Oh, that was... I made a sound into a microphone that I've only made in very certain circumstances. But that was... To quote Ray Hudson, that was orgasmic play. Unbelievable. The connection. The D. Vitrup connection. That's the worst wrestling tag team name in history. Ever. Ajax. Oh, with the curling! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? You're, t you're telling me this is how controllers get broken. Like I swear to God, if I was down, or if I was tied, and that was to win, and that happened, that controllers would have been snapped. Great job, Sid. Beautiful save. Oh. Okay. <gasps> wow. Wow. That was. I deserved that though. Vitra from range. Ooh. That wasn't good. Alright, solid formation though. We're we're keeping pretty rigid in our formation, which I like. Beautiful Sid. Looking for Ajax. Did he just hit that with his shoulder? So we're keeping pretty rigid, but there's also some fluid movement. Ajax! Gets, gets deflected. Yep, yep. Oh, I see you, Vitra. Ah. I'm trying to figure out... I tried to play that on the ground. Maybe I did something wrong. Like, I tried to do it as if you would just do a ground cross or something. 
didn't work, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. I might be. I probably am. Beautiful job. Here's Vitrip. Oh, you know what? You know what time it is. It's the D and Vitrip connection. That's what it's all about. And he hits the post again. How many posts? Four. I feel like I feel like I'm the I'm the vampire dude. Four. Four posts. I feel ashamed for even having tried to do that impression. <laughs> that impression. The vampire guy from Sesame Street. Seven butts. I only remember that because I saw an episode of Family Guy where they referenced that. Oh, here we go. The curling effort. Oh, man. I actually meant for that to be the D, but all right. Yes! It's all about... It's all about the corner. So that was a ground cross, or at least it was supposed to be, but it ends up just being a kind of a lofted ball to D. But he, you know what? He puts it away because that's what he does. Making his debut for X-Force, I think he's got, what, like three goals and five assists in this tournament or something like that? That's the other thing that career mode could do. You could actually keep stats on players across an entire tournament, something like that. That's something that I want to know because I'm a nerd and I don't do anything else with my with my with my only life on earth and look at stats of of you know virtualized players. That's what it's Oh no. Ajax. Ajax had the opportunity to thoroughly put this game on ice. I hope they got some champagne on ice for X Force when we get back into this locker room. After winning our debut Volta World Tournament. Oh, there is no one there. Just fire it! What a coming out party for D Pack Sunder! This is what it's all about, man. This is what Volta. This is Volta World. This is what it's all about. Ah, uh, I had. I had the one touch in mind. I'll take that. Yeah, I read that. Read it like a book. Beautiful save, Sid. Doesn't even matter. It's eight seconds. We're three goals up. X Force has won our debut tournament. Yep, just fire that. X Force wins our debut Volta World Tournament in Berlin, Germany. We are the kings of Deutschland futsal. Hey, we get we do get a cutscene. We get a we get a trophy presentation. What was that? Berlin Volta Football Champions. Doesn't have our name on the thing, but it on our on the animated thing it does. Ajax player of the match. It should have been D though. It really should have been D. That is X Force winning our debut Volta World Tournament, and that is where this episode will end. So we appreciate you guys watching all of our stuff. So subscribe for more content now and in the future on General Admission Sports. We'll see you next time.